morning we're celebrating the second Sunday of Easter, also known as Divine Mercy Sunday, that we celebrate the great mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Mass this morning is being offered for the intentions of the members of St. Rocco Parish, and especially we can keep in our prayers the Father of uh, Father Joseph Shinoski, the pastor of Sacred Heart Parish. His father is gravely ill. And we can begin our celebration this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, as we gather this morning in prayer, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you bring faith to unbelievers. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring hope to the fearful. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring love to the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of your, the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses will sell them. Bring the proceeds of the sale and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor of, over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies and the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to them, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came although the doors were locked and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace 
be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands and bring your hand and put it into my side and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. As we come together this morning celebrating the second Sunday of Easter, the Sunday of the Divine Mercy, we can reflect on the Gospel reading today. How great the mercy of God is. Jesus comes in the midst of his disciples who have locked themselves in a room. They're scared. They're afraid the same thing will happen to them that happened to Jesus, that they will be put to death. They're not sure what to do. Some have left and gone back to where they were before. The apostles are locked in a room, closed off. And yet Jesus appears in their midst. They experience Jesus Christ raised from the dead. But one of them wasn't there, Thomas. And when the other disciples give witness, just as the women had given witness to the apostles, he didn't believe, just as the apostles at first didn't believe. And then Jesus comes again, stands in their midst, tells Thomas to do what he said that he would need to do in order to believe. Thomas comes to believe. And Christ doesn't admonish him, but reflects on the weakness of faith. You've come to believe because I'm standing right here physically in front of you. Blessed are those who have not had that experience and yet believe my word. As we reflect on the gospel reading today, we realize how great the mercy of Christ is. The apostles had all deserted Jesus in his passion. They all ran off. Peter denied Jesus, in no uncertain terms, three times in front of others for their fear, for their doubts. And yet Christ does not abandon them. He still comes to them. He shows them his love. He tells them, peace be with you. And the, the Jewish term peace is much different than the way we use it today in our society. Peace many times for us means we're not fighting with someone. that things are calm. But for the jo Jewish people, the word shalom, peace, was telling the person that I am here with you. 
I am at your side. If you're experiencing pain or hurt or difficulties or fear, I share them with you. And you're not alone. I am walking with you. I am giving you strength. I'm bringing you God's mercy, God's love, God's forgiveness. And we see that in the gospel reading today. Peace be with you. Your sins have been forgiven. God's mercy and love is so great, he still wants them. He's still calling them to be the people that he knows they can be. Calling them to be witnesses in our world to others of how great the love of God, the mercy of God, the presence of God is in their lives. Today as we come and hear this resurrection account, we can ask God for the strength and grace that we can overcome the, the doubts and the fears that we have in our own lives many times. To be able to be people who truly give witness to others by our charity, by our compassion, by our love of the presence of Jesus Christ walking with us part of our lives. And to be witnesses in our community how great the mercy of God is for each one of us. How great the love of Jesus Christ is for each one of us. We can now stand and proclaim our faith. I believe in one God the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was birthed and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scripture. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We have not seen but still believe. With confident faith, we bring our concerns before God. That the newly baptized and newly received find in the church both welcome and challenge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations, rich and poor, work together to share the world's resources fairly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those seeking an increase in faith will grow in certainty that God's divine mercy is abundant beyond human imagination. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who need God's mercy Find it in the actions of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the members of this community strive to be one heart and one mind in the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the members of, our, of St. Rocco Parish that are sick, that they may be touched by the healing power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord. And we pray for the father of Father Joseph Shinoski, uh, the pastor of Sacred Heart Parish, that his father may be touched by the healing grace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for the intentions of all the members of St. Rocco Parish, that they may always experience the divine mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Generous God, plant your precious gift of faith ever deeper in our hearts. All that we ask, we ask in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord have set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <coughs> Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people and of those who have brought to a new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santo es Santo, Santo es sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. He broke our love. 
we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word. Thank you. 
Grant, we pray, almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Buenos días. Good morning. La próxima plática del sacramento del bautismo va a ser este miércoles 10 de abril en el centro San Roque. Les pedimos estacionar aquí en el estacionamiento de la iglesia, bajar por el camino de luz y llamar antes para inscribirse para tomar la plática. El próximo sábado 13 de abril vamos a tener el retiro de las niñas que están en las clases de confirmación. Saldremos de aquí de la iglesia a las seis y media de la mañana. Regresamos por la tarde. Y el sábado 20 de abril tendremos el retiro para los varones. Eh, también nos juntamos aquí a las 7 y regresamos por la tarde. La próxima reunión del comité parroquial va a ser este martes 9 de abril en, aquí en la iglesia a las 7.15. Les pedimos que cada grupo envíe dos representantes para poder evaluar y organizar las actividades de los próximos meses. Muchas gracias, que Dios los bendiga y que tengan una santa semana, una feliz semana. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank Thanks be to God. God. And we can pray together the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. One minute on